In today's video, we're going to be looking at income elasticity of demand in economics, often referred to as YED. So YED, it describes the relationship between incomes and the demand for a good or service. Okay, so for example, if incomes rise, then demand for Rolex watches goes up, as you would expect. Okay, because Rolexes are luxury items. So these are considered normal goods. Okay, so a Rolex watch is a normal good. If your income goes up, you want to buy more of it. Okay. Now, in the example of if income rises and then demand for budget watches goes down, as you would expect. So in the case of a budget watch, let's say, for example, a Casio or something like that. This is referred to as an inferior good. Okay, so when your income goes up, you want to buy less Casio watches. Okay, as you might expect as well. Nothing against Casios there, but just saying. So how do you actually calculate YED then? How do we calculate that from data that we've been given? So here is the formula for YED there. It's the percentage change in the quantity demanded, so quantity demanded at the top, all over the percentage change in income. So let's say, for example, if incomes go up from £20,000 a year to £30,000 a year, which is a 50% increase in income, and let's say demand for holidays abroad, let's say that rises too, and that goes up by 100%, then this is how you would calculate YED. You would have 100 at the top plus 100 because the quantity demanded has gone up by 100%. And then we would have the income, percentage change in income, plus 50 at the bottom because income has gone up by 20,000 to 30,000. As a result, positive 100 over positive 50 makes positive 2. And that's our YED. The positive two is our YED calculation. Now, the next thing is, once you've calculated it, what does it even mean? Okay, so what does the YED figure actually mean? So if YED is positive, right, if it's positive, then it's considered a normal good. That's the, that's the most important thing. And if YED is negative, it's considered an inferior good. Okay, so these two things are the most important. But if you want to extract that uh, data even further and figure out what it means, then you can actually go into a bit more detail. So if YED is above positive one, then it's called, it's positive, so it's a normal good. But it's because it's above one, it's a normal luxury. Okay. If YED is between zero and plus one, then it's still a normal good because it's still positive. However, it becomes a normal necessity. If YED is below minus one, so it's a minus number, so it might be like minus two or minus three, for example, then this is a strongly inferior good. Okay, so you really, if your income goes up, you really don't want to buy any more of that. If YED is between zero and minus one, okay, so it might be minus 0 0.5 or something like that, this is a weak inferior good. Okay, so now we've done that, let's go back to our YED from earlier for the holidays. So income went up by 50% and demand for holidays went up by 100%. We got YED equals positive two. So what would this be? It's positive, so it's normal, but it's above one. So if we go here, it's positive, and also it is above one. So this is where it would fall into this category here. Therefore, holidays abroad is considered a normal luxury, which makes sense, because it is luxury. It is a luxury to go abroad. Okay, so I hope this all made sense. Any questions? put them down below in the comments box.